Hi there. So, you just purchased an SVG from my online store. Thank you. You download the image and you save it on your computer. Here's the tricky part. You have to remember where. And you're going to come in to Design Space so that you can actually cut it out. You're going to look for where you saved it. Yeah, that, I told you that was the hard part. You click on that file and you bring it in. This is the one time that you can add tags to it. Tags help Cricut search for this again if you were to try and find it. So I'm going to call it a simple so I know that it's always one of my simple SVGs. I'm going to say let's grow and I'm going to say garden. Those are words that I might look for later. And save. And then I'm going to click on it and pop it into the canvas, ready to work on it. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to zoom out so I can see everything. And I'm going to split these two because they're on top of each other. So there I have the two different um, layouts. A couple things we need to do. See these, this, all this detail here? We want our Cricut to write that. So we're going to change that from a cut layer to a write layer. We're going to come over here and see where it's, it looks kind of like little squiggles. We're going to click on that. It's that layer. We're going to come up here and we're going to say draw. Now it looks much better. We're going to come back over here. We're going to click on this and we're going to ungroup. We're going to take this and drag it down. And then we're going to take this and drag it down. Make sure we get it right where we want it. You can use the keys to nudge it over a little. You want to line it up exactly where you want it to draw. And then you're going to select both of those together and you're going to tell Cricut to attach. That tells it to draw right on there. Then you, if you want to see how this looks again, you can bring it up and it, it covers up what you had. So you can come up to arrange and send to the back. You don't really have to, but if you wanted to get a peek at it first. The next thing that you can do is this B is kind of small and it's a lot of layers. If you don't want to do it, you can just turn off the B and not do the B at all. That's actually how I did my sample. I didn't do the B. But if you want it, you can have it. Cricut will cut it out and you'll put these little layers together. Another way that you could do it though is you could flatten it. And now Cricut's going to print and cut that little B. So it's totally up to you, however you want to do it for your layout. Then we've got to fix this one too. So we're going to click on this. We're going to ungroup. We're just going to change this layer. We don't move anything. We're just going to change that layer to draw. Okay, and it did it. I'm going to take these carrots, drag them out of the way, select this part, and attach. Super easy. Then I'm going to bring the carrots back up. And again, if I want to see how it's going to look, I'm going to click on that, arrange, and send it to the back, and put this here, and you are good. So there's your layers ready to go. When Cricut goes to put these over onto the Make It tab, it's going to, remember this is the Print Then Cut B. This is your top layer. Uh, this is page one. Cricut is going to draw and cut. The draw is a lot of detail. It takes it a little bit, so don't freak out if it takes a while. And then this one, it's going to draw that whole border, and then it's going to cut this out. Then you have to do your carrots, then your sentiment, your title. That's the shadow layer, and that's the top layer. Okay? I can't wait to see what your layout looks like. Talk to you soon.